Hello, this is Shitu, your mathematics teacher. This video is brought to you by Iota Virtual Learning. In today's lesson, today we are going to be solving y equals questions on triangles and polygons. One now, get your writing materials ready and join me. This is our first problem under the triangles and polygons. The question said the interior angles of a pentagon are 2x plus 5 degree, x plus 20 degree, x degree, 3x minus 20 degrees, x plus 15 degrees. So I want to know the value of x. So we have these options here. I would like you to pause the video, kindly do it yourself, then come back to see how it is solved so you can compare your you can compare your solutions, right? So now we're going to start now from here let's look at what they mean by pentagon pentagon means a polygon or a shape with five sides so now shape with five sides so here we have the number of sides that is the number of sides of pentagon is what is five so now if the number of sides of pentagon is uh, five so it means that the sum of angles so this is angles the sum of angles in a pentagon to be the formula is going to be n minus 1 multiplied by 180 degrees that's the formula so now since we are having n this is n we have our n let's represent the number of pentagon that is n the size to be what to be 5 n is 5 here we have 5 5 minus 2 then multiply by 180 degrees so we're going to have 5 minus 2 will give us 3 times 180 degrees so from here 3 times 180 degrees that's going to give us 540 degrees so we have the sum of angles in a pentagon so to be 540 degrees so therefore when you look at this we have a eh, let's count 1 2 3 4 5 so it means we have 5 angles so therefore the sum of these five angles must give us 540 degrees that is where we are going so therefore in pentagon in pentagon right so we're going to have let's pick the angles one after the other so let's have 2x plus 5 plus the next one is x plus 20 the next one is x the next one is 3x minus 20. The next one is x plus 15, right? Then everything must give us 540 degrees. That is where we are going. So now let's try to combine this. If you open this, this is what you're going to have. Okay, now let's try to collect the like terms. We have x here. So now everything with x. 2x plus x eh? so i want you to follow me the way i'm doing it 2x plus x you have 3x 3x plus x i have 4x 4x plus 3x we have 7x plus x that is we have 8x so everything here will be 8x right now here 5 plus 20 that is 25 25 minus 20 that is 25 minus 20 that is 5 then 5 plus 15 we're going to have 20 so everything will be 20 equals 540 understood from here we have what we have 8x minus 20 equals 540 so now look at this one here i'm going to transpose minus 20 from here i transpose this minus 20 to the other side we're going to have 8x equals 540 minus plus 20 it will change to positive coming down here you have 8x equals 540 oh sorry it is plus not minus as this one coming down here it will change to minus right i'm sorry for that so 540 minus this will give us 520 so now we divide both sides by 8 this we cancel this we have x to be equals 520 divided by 8 that will give us 65 degree right press your calculator you see 
it will give you 65 so therefore we have x to be 65 now going down or going back to the options we have we can see that we have this to be the right option which is c right so thank you for watching second uh second, second question here in the diagram z y is a straight line calculate the value of x now look at this and we have this diagram here this is z y okay so we want to calculate the value of x now this is what this z y p is a triangle right but we have what we have two angles inside the triangle and we have one outside the one that is found outside is called exterior angle so right according to the law of triangles according to the law of triangle exterior angle so according to law of triangle exterior angle of a triangle of a triangle you have a triangle any form of triangle the exterior angle is equal to the sum of interior opposite angles this one so what you are saying now is that this angle here this angle here that is angle z let me call this angle this angle y here this angle y here is equal to the two angles we have here which is 2x plus 2x minus 2 1 so now this angle that is found at outside which is what which is exterior angle is 3x plus 4 which is equals 2x plus 2x minus 21 so now don't do the mistake these are two these are two uh, angles this 2x is for this one here which is angle z and this one is angle p right angle p so we have 3x plus 14 equals 2x plus 2x minus 21 so the next thing we are going to do is to connect them together collect lifetime and find the value of x right so so now from there what are we going to do here this will be going this and this will be going okay before that we have 3x 3x plus 14 equals 2x plus 2x that will give us 4x minus 21 so now from here this 3x is coming down here transposing the 3x to the right hand side and we are transposing this to the left hand side look at the arrow so we are going to be having this will, be, so this will imply this implies that 4x this one is coming down we have minus 3x equals we have 14 plus 21 so 4x minus 3x that will give us x equals 14 plus 21 that will give us 35 so we have the value of x to be 35 so 35 degrees so now when you look at the options we have you can see that we have c to be the solution right so c is the solution to the problem thank you for watching we have this third question so i'd like you to pause this video solve it yourself then come back to check and compare your results so now the question states that the sum of the interior angles of a regular polygon of a regular polygon so take note of this regular polygon with k size so the k solution n is replaced by k that is number of sides we normally use n but here they want us to use k so the number of sides is k we don't know the number of sides is 3k minus 10 right angles so therefore they said the sum the sum of the interior angles of a regular polygon we don't know the type of the polygon but we are told that it is a regular polygon and when they say regular polygon it means the the shape that has the interior angles the same that for each of the interior angles are the same thing that is the word regular polygon which case I, but we don't know the number of sides that the polygon has so but they said k the sum of 
the interior angles of a regular polygon with k size is 3k minus 10 right angles this right angle is 90 degrees right find the size of the exterior angle so what we are going to do is that we have what we have So we have sum of regular polygon with k size is 3k minus uh, 10 that is right angles this right angle dimension is multiplied by 90 so that is the sum that is what they say sum of the regular polygon with k size is right so now then according to the law the sum of uh, the sum of any form of regular polygon of a polygon the sum of what sum of angles sum of angles sum of angles in a regular this is sum of angles in that particular one they are giving to us sum of angles let's put angles this represent angle sum of angles in a regular polygon which k is give is this for the particular question they give us but generally sum of angles in a polygon is what is polygon is what is n minus 2 times 180 degrees but we've already said our n should be replaced by k so we don't need to put n here we have k this is the general so therefore what we are going to do now is that we're going to equate this and this together since they are all the same thing generally if you want to find this right this is the formula we are going to use k minus 2 multiplied by 8 180 and we have the particularly this is 3k minus 10 multiplied by 90 so now we need to get the value of what to get the value of k that is what is the number of sides before we can get the exterior angle that we are looking for this exterior angle so i want you to listen attentively so from here so we're going to have 3k minus 10 multiplied by 90 then equals so k minus 2 then multiply by 180 degrees so we try to equate it like this so now from here i can reduce this equation because it looks somehow ambiguous so what but if i divide both sides by 90 so this equation will be reduced right so 90 we cancel this 90 here right i have 3k minus 10 then equals here 90 here 90 here will be 2 so we're going to multiply these two by everything here 2 times k we have 2k 2 times minus 2 we have minus 4 so you can see that the equation has now been reduced to a simpler form so from there we have 3k minus 10 i want to rewrite it 2k minus 4 so now here we are going to transpose 2k is coming down here and minus 10 is going down here so we're going to be having 3k coming down here it will change to negative we have 2k equals minus 4 this one coming down here it will change to positive 10 right so we have 3k minus 2k that will give us k equals minus 4 plus 10 that will give us 6 so we have the size that is the number of size therefore the number of size of the polygon is what is six right so since the number is six so now what they ask us to find is so that is find the size of the exterior angle so now the formula if you want to find an exterior angle of a polygon is always 360 divided by number of size number of size n that is number of what of size right so therefore we are going to have 360 degrees divided by what's the number of size we have the number of size is what is 6 here divided by 6 so 360 divided by 6 so we're going to have 60 because 6 here one 6 here is 6 so 60 degrees so therefore the exterior angle the exterior angle we have 
okay according to the question is 60 degrees so this is the right answer that is option a is the solution thank you hello this is question four the question said find the value of x in the diagram below we have this diagram below you can see this is a polygon but looking at the angles given to us they are all exterior angles right so now you don't have to be confused whenever you are given this so there is a law that said the sum of all the exterior angles of any form of pentagon is 360 degrees so it's so simple which which means you're going to add all of these exterior angles and equate it to 360 degree then find the value of x and that's all so simple so now solution so but before i solve this for you please kindly pause this video solve it yourself and come back to compare your results with this right now solution the sum so i want you to take note of this and write it down sum of exterior angles of a polygon is 360 degrees any form of polygon you have so if it is exterior angle you are talking about so just sum all the exterior angles together and they must give us 360 degrees right so therefore we're going to be picking this one after the other and add everything together 2x plus 5 plus 2x the next one x minus 20 the next one is x the next one is 3x plus 10 the next one is plus 3x plus 10 then plus x plus 15 now to get it right let me put the parentheses that is the bracket so that you'll be able to identify the number of angles we are given oh i repeated can you see can you see the reason why we said i should do that so i repeated 3x plus 10 two times so and that is very wrong so we're going to have it this way 3x plus 10 then plus x plus 15 right everything must give us the 360 degrees according to this information that is the law of there so if you count now one two three four five six let's count our own one two three four five six before we move on so let's try to add all of this together adding this together we're going to have picking two x we have two x plus we add another two x two x plus the x that is down there here then we have what plus x again right plus 3x plus x right then let's add the numbers plus the numbers we have 5 from the first one then we have minus 20 because that is 20 that is minus 20 that is there then we have plus 10 plus so plus 10 then plus 15 everything must give us 360 degrees so now from here 2x plus 2x we have 4x plus x 5x 6x 9x 10x so everything here is 10x then 5 minus 5 plus 5 plus 10 let me okay let me take this positive first 5 plus 10 that is 15 plus 15 30 we have 30 minus plus 30 minus 20 equals 360 degrees so 10x plus 30 minus 20 that will give us plus 10 equals 360 degrees so 10x will be equals we're going to transpose this 10 to the other side we have 360 degree minus 10 we have 10x to be equals 360 minus 10 that will be 350 degrees 350 then we divide both sides by 10 right so this we cancel this we have x to be 350 you can see that divide by 10 that will give us 35 degrees so we have the x to be 35 degrees so coming down here you're going to see that the 
solution is B. That is the right answer is B, which is 35 degrees. Thank you so much for watching and do more on by checking for past questions and solve the equation that are related to this. Thank you.